If you've learned to design for print, you'll be used to the CMYK colour model. Colours in print are literally made by mixing cyan, magenta, yellow and black ink. CMYK doesn't work for screen-based design because you're mixing colours with light, not ink. So web designers traditionally use the RGB model. Combinations of red, green and blue light are mixed to create new colours. The problem with RGB is that making a colour palette for your design project can be a real headache. So I recommend you use the HSB model. Very simple to understand, much simpler than trying to mix colours in your head the way you have to with RGB. So if you can, I want you to open up your graphics program and try this. I'm going to do it here in Photoshop, but it's a similar process in Sketch or Fireworks. I'm going to click on this little guy here to open the colour picker window. So firstly, H, or hue, is the tonal value of your colour. So check out how the colour changes as I move the slider. Secondly, S, or saturation, is how vibrant or how muted your colours are. And thirdly, brightness, is how bright or how dark your colours are. So let's see this at work. In example one, the hue and the brightness stay the same, but by changing the saturation we're able to easily create a consistent colour palette. And in option two, we're using the exact same trick, but this time it's just the brightness that's changing. And here's how we could use that palette. We're using the darker shades here to indicate the top movie is selected, but the whole interface is made up from just one colour, or hue, so it looks consistent and your eyes are confused by lots of competing visual elements. It's one of the secrets to producing really consistent and usable interface and interaction design.